What's up, y'all? It's the girl C. I'm Brett. We hope you guys watched our last vlog videos on our Horizon cruise, you guys. So now we're giving you guys a review, and we hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, hit that notification bell that's down here below. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat at C and Brit. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video. We'll be giving y'all insight of Carnival Horizon stage. So we're gonna hop right into it. Horizon. Our trip was September 7th through 15th? Yeah, 7th through the 15th. Nine day Eight. cruise. Nine. Eight. No, day. well, we came back on the ninth day, okay? So we were on a ship for a total of nine days. People were like, I wouldn't go on an eight day cruise. Like, I didn't ask you to go. It, it was fun though. <laughs> it was worth it. It was relaxing. I mean, you all gotta make sure you get your Wi Fi package if you really want to stay close to people. Also, found out with T Mobile, I had got an international day pass for like five bucks a day. So for five bucks, I paid and I can call, FaceTime, text. All that with T-Mobile. So if you have T-Mobile and you're on a cruise, I would advise y'all to do that. It's worth it. And we went to Grand Turk, Jamaica, Aruba, Carousel. Mm -hmm. What else did you go to? Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Yeah, La Ramona. We didn't really do much on there. Yeah, we didn't do much. As y'all saw in our vlogs. I hope y'all been seeing them. Thanks for the support. Um, but we're gonna jump right into it. So first thing is on our list: the shows. We only really had <laughs> right? we only really had one show. Um, on our past cruises, we didn't really actually go to the shows, but it would have been mm -hmm. nice to you know. We went to the the sink. The no, lip sync battle. battle. That it was, was cool. Yeah, it was good. But that was that. Well, they didn't have that until our fun day at seas. Like the last two days, it was crazy, but it was actually okay. It was fun. So I'll rate the shows for Carnival Horizon probably at like a seven. Yeah, seven out of ten. Being that they only really had that one real show. Yeah, and they literally made them practice for it the entire cruise. So they had the show area, the whole cruise to practice. So we, they didn't even really have any shows, and we missed one show. But other than that, they only had like couple games and stuff. Yeah, it wasn't like an actual show. Cause on the other cruise they had like Greece and like nineties, eighties, and seventies, sixties dancing. Like they had all that the whole cruise. But yeah. Next is food. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give my side. <laughs> First, the restaurants were Ball. The Mongolian Walk, which is a stir fry place, was awesome. It was good for her because they had yeah. vegetarian options. Um, only thing that I hated is that I wish the lunch times were a little longer. They were only like 12 to 2 every day. And you had and to rush and catch free. it. That's when it's free. After that, you have to pay to eat. The, I don't even think Mongolian Walk, they wasn't offered at night. It was just an Italian place. Oh, yeah. They, they ordered the, it was some kind of Asian place at night. Yeah, but we missed the hibachi place. We should have went there. Oh, yeah. We didn't know they had hibachi. They had like a the whole hibachi day. place. It's like fun sway. <laughs> but it's a hibachi place. It is so nice. And like you pay, it's like $15, I think. I think Oh no, it was 30. It was 30 for your, your like the whole thing, but you eat as much as you want right there. So it's like a different experience. And the Italian place was free from 12 to 2 and at night they had dinner. Y'all. We ate dinner. there for dinner one night. We paid at $15. When they I were tell so you, slow. Slow. We almost missed our Aladdin movie. I know, right? And then they was like, sorry for the wait. We had a larger party come in. These people next to us walked in after us and, and got, got their, their food, food before us. We were bad. <laughs> so they didn't offer us like no, no extra free, bread, no, no free food. nothing. It was crazy, and we wasted. We basically wasted our money there. But it, the food was good when we got it. Yeah, it was good, but it was just the like, wait, the service. They were kind of unorganized. The service wasn't good. Like, how you gonna tell us? It'll be different if the people after us that walk in after us didn't get their food, but those people walk in after us after we mm -hmm. ordered and they got their food before us. They got everything. They were on point with their service. Us, we sitting over there in the corner like, 
right? <laughs> but I do advise like couples go there. It's so nice. It's so scenery. It's like you know candlelit dinner. Yeah, and the bread, the bread and the olive oil. Her and her bread. Y'all saw in her videos. <laughs> the videos were her and the bread. And we got the whole olive oil bottle. But anyways, Guys Burgers was good. Always free. Blue Iguana, awesome. free. And it's always amazing. They have breakfast tacos, lunch tacos, and it's so good. Um, the dining room, the Lido Dick dining room is actually pretty good. We started yeah. eating the breakfast there towards breakfast the there end. Was awesome. It was good. And of course, the buffet at the top of the dining hall where you go for your dining they have um like breakfast there and it was cool because she had her vegan yeah. the vegan um juices, juices. those were awesome they were good, good. i thought i was gonna make my stomach i was like i don't know if i wanted to really paid like what but five dollars or something yeah it was cheap and you get a nice size glass so oh yeah really good. i thought i was gonna get like that much i thought it was gonna be like a little shot like <laughs> but it was really good I wish there was more entertainment at the the night shows, like how yeah. it used to be. They'd be dancing and stuff. There's some, but usually be like a lot more like entertainment to me. I don't know. I liked it. Um, the dining was good. Um, reservations on this ship in particular. I don't know if they added it to this stuff, but you can make a reservation through the Carnival Hub app. I advise everybody when you get on the cruises, download the Carnival Hub app. It's awesome. If you meet, meet people on a cruise, you can pay like five bucks and communicate through text messaging on there, like a messaging um, system they have. But for the dining, you make your reservations. I thought that was cool because you can like start getting ready. You have like 10, 15 minutes yeah. till your table's up. When you go down there, you show them, they have your table number, your name on there and everything, your room number, and you just go straight to it. And that's only if you choose any time dining. Yeah. So. But if you choose like your time, like your um, the times that you want, then you have your set time. But other than that, anytime dining, you have two separate floors you can go to for dining, and then you just put your reservation in and show them. So I thought that was cool. So I give the food on the ship, I give that about an 8.5 out of 10. Just because. <laughs> yeah, I understand. It's just they didn't have like. They didn't have that much stuff for people that don't eat meat or nothing like that. Like I was eating the same stuff every single night. I had mm -hmm. they had veggie spring rolls one night. She was eating shrimp cocktails every, every night. night. <laughs> but I couldn't have enough veggie spring rolls. They only had one night. Like I got to eat potato and green beans. They say eat all the sides. It was like what, what's, what do you that's have that's vegetarian, vegetarian or vegan? The sides. That was it. And they had this one item on there on the menu yeah, every time. Yeah, it's the same, the same vegetarian Indian dish, and it's, it's like really so spicy. It's and it's so thing. me. It looks like a plate of side dishes. That's what it looks like. But it's the same thing every night. They had, they did have one. It was like just some kind of phyllo thing. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't want that because it got black eyed peas and stuff in it. It's like it didn't sound good. Mm -hmm. But when I got it, it was actually, it was actually really good. I like the food. The food the was dining. good. <laughs> um, good. They have a lot more variety. They did on this ship. They did. They right. have a lot more options. So if they didn't have like the pasta place and then the stir fry place and all that, I would have given it like a five. Yeah, the pasta <laughs> place and that stir fry place definitely like help and if we would have went to the hibachi he wouldn't oh, tell us nothing listen we planning for the next cruise whenever we go on the next one we definitely gonna pay for that because yeah, that we watched it through the window like we should yeah. got that stuff we would have like, known this was here we wouldn't have ate it in the italian place and i already saw the name i just never thought it was hibachi i thought yeah, it was, I thought like, it was a sushi. sit down like I a sushi yes yeah. but they have two separate ones they do yeah. have a sushi place and then they have a hibachi place yes yeah, like right there together. you got to pay for both of those just let you know also the coffee was good coffee place was good we only went there once. Oh yeah. Yeah. There once. And um, it's you have to pay for that. It's good though. Yeah, but on Vista they had a Starbucks. I don't know if the Starbucks is still on Vista. Yeah, I don't know either. They had like a it's like a blue coffee place. I forgot what it's yeah. called. But it was it was pretty good. But I, I mean I love Starbucks. That's what I'm used to. <laughs> but it was good. So I give it an eight point five out of ten for food. I can say about it seven. They didn't really have seven is pretty good for them not really have much that I could eat in the dining area. Yeah. But I could tell that they're they're trying having more variety in the vegan drinks in the morning. Mm-hmm. But um I'll give it a seven. You know, it's eating like baked potato, broccoli. <laughs> the whole potato. But <laughs> like, okay. I can't wait till lunch. Like I actually have something to eat. 
Yeah, it was it was crazy. The room service was good too. Yeah, y'all, because when it came to the food, we had planned down. Mm -hmm. it was it? Which place was it? It was the Star Fry place. It was like an there. hour. Like an hour, right? An yeah. Hour wait. We would go get our table, put our name on, and the Italian place would be open, so we'll go eat there, eat all the pasta. <laughs> And then we would wait for the, we'll have the buzzer with us yep. with the stir fry place. we got done eating, the buzzer <laughs> would go off, go straight to the stir fry place. You'd be like, y'all just That's come out the pasta. That's how our fun day is, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, pig out. It was fun. It was worth it. It's like, free from 12 to 2. One rest so. and right to another, so why not? It was easy. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Entertainment. Overall, comparing to the Vista, the entertainers on the ship were at the club. They were everywhere. Yeah, they were everywhere. Everywhere. Anytime they did something on the deck, they were there. Anytime we went down, it was probably like the cruise director and one other person. Yeah, it was. that's how it was on Horizons. It was nothing like Vista or any of the other ships. Really yeah. Any, 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 let's say entertainment, I guess, team or whatnot. Yeah, because usually they have like a team of they be like dancing with us. They be having line dancing going on and all of that. They be everywhere. They weren't out there as much. Um, the comedy club was good. Some of the comedians were not funny. They were dry, and they were kind of annoying. I think there was only like two that were like that. That lady, she was good. They had a Nobody lady expected her to be funny. She, she was, was hilarious. hilarious, and she like interacted with the guests. Like she was really entertaining. She was so funny. That was her first time actually doing comedy on the cruise. She was exactly. really, the really last good. Guy, he was good. Yeah, the last guy was good. He was good. Um, some it was like it was like two people that was kind of like trying too hard and I don't know. But the Punchliner Club, I know y'all saw it in our last vlog. It's really nice setup. I loved it. The host, he was it was actually his last time there, mm -hmm. and he left. He's actually went to Vegas. Kudos to him. He was awesome. Get there early, like hour early. Yeah, some people take it too serious early. and get there. They be standing in a line like a whole hour before. Like it's yes, not that in the line, it's like goes all the way down to the casino. That's like at least half a mile walk. <laughs> It's a long line, so I advise y'all to get there early. And the comedy club is usually always either in the show the auditorium or where the where club the is. is. So, nice setup. It's really funny. It's really fun if you want to go and just get a good laugh. I loved it. Um, the entertainment could have been a little bit better with the people on the cruise instead of like the, just the comedians. It seemed like with entertainment, trying to find something fun to do, that was probably the most things you had to do besides entertaining yourself at the pool. <laughs> Other than that was fun. I mean, I give it probably about 7 out of 10. 5.9. <sighs> a 6. Okay, yeah, 6, there we go. So a 6 and a 7 out of 10. That's fine. Alright, the cruise it director. It wasn't. It really wasn't. It was nothing to do. Yeah, that, well, we always make our own fun. We do. We find stuff to do. Take pictures, they'll be everywhere. They have like the boards everywhere where you see yourself as you walk by. And you can buy the pictures, not we just took random pictures. Just yeah. We never bought them. <laughs> we never bought them. We didn't even look at them. We sure did. We just took them. <laughs> but you, can, you can now look at them on your phone. Yeah, everything is on that Carnival Hub app. Like literally the schedule, everything that's on the ship, where, where you at. All of that, it's, it's amazing. There, there's no more paper photos, at least not on the newer ships. Mm -hmm. That stopped at like Vista and all, all Now that. it's digital. Everything's, Everything's digital. digital. And I love that because you can just easily get on your phone and take it home and print it out for cheaper. Mm -hmm. So the carnival written all over it. Yeah, yeah. It's still a picture though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cruise director, Cookie. He was awesome. I loved him. He's from Alabama. That was a, this is the first cruise I can say we've been on where we found people that's not that far from us. I know, right? The DJ and the cruise director both from Alabama. And they were like so funny. They were actually lit. The cruise director, he was hilarious. He's always entertaining, always getting everybody involved. And like very just outspoken. He did not care. He was <laughs> he was hilarious. And um, he really kept the activities going throughout the day. He always made announcements and stuff and like made sure everybody was okay. And like even when we were standing in line, he got everybody teamed up to get give us water while we stand in line to oh, get yeah. back on the ship. Cause those were some long lines. They're, they need to work on that. They they do. The like, lines were <laughs> the lines were aww. terrible. But Cookie always entertained us with his dancing and singing. 
and like his cute outfit. I love him. He was hilarious. I give Cookie honestly like a 10 out of 10 because he yeah. he was so entertaining. He was very funny. Yeah. So 10 out of 10. Yes. Um. Next is the nightlife, the club. So first night was just DJ Scoop. I'm sorry, <laughs> but the first night it was horrible. It was horrible. Let me go like this. Like I was Latin. We were Latinos for two days straight. <laughs> Latinas, whatever. It was crazy. Like it was Latin music every other second. No offense, it was just too much Latin music. Yeah, the first night. But I can understand he was trying to like fill out for the crowd, and it was like a lot of like people in there that love Latin music. So he was like, you know, trying to fill out. But after that, he was lit. The rest of the crew was like, the white party was amazing. The white after party. The um, serenity was <laughs> serenity was lit. <laughs> like when I tell you, it was so much fun. He played all the best songs. Um, DJ Timmy was on there too. He yeah, was he the was other good. DJ. He, he was, was good. At 99, he was. Oh my god, good. It was so much fun. Like, and then last night, their little entertainment was a tour contest. She won. Yes, I did. <laughs> Where's your trophy? My trophy's upstairs. I was a little Carnival Horizon, a little trophy, and they gave me a big old bottle of champagne. It was fun though. Yeah, like, and everybody threw money. <laughs> I felt weird, but it was fun though. Like, we had a lot of fun. Um, with the DJ, the cruise was fun, like with him, like having constant music going. It was like everywhere you walk, he's playing something. Him and DJ Timmy interject, like inter, um, changing that stuff. So it was like they get a 10. Yes, they do. Definitely 10 out of 10 DJ Scoop, so you can't be mad. I know, um, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, be, we're gonna give you a three for the first night. <laughs> But the rest of the crews, he was lit. Honestly, DJ Scoop's awesome. He's the other one from Alabama. He's great. He follows us on Instagram. Follow him. We'll insert that below at DJ Scoop. So, definitely. Scoop Scoop. <laughs> Room service. Our stewardess was our mom. Awesome. I know. She was like our mom. She even called us lazy. Yes. She was like, y'all are not off the ship. Y'all are just being lazy today. <laughs> she was like, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But we she, love her though. She always made sure we had towels. She always like cleaned our room. She organized our shoes. I know. Like, she was so nice. Always tip y'all stewardess. Like I know, right? they, they, they leave their families to be on this ship to take care of everybody. And they are like really work hard for what they have to do. So they're on she that ship for years. <laughs> she was awesome. She was awesome. The she room was the service. Best. I like out of all the cruises I've ever known. She, she was, was the best. best. We left her a long letter to our cruise mama. All right. <laughs> and a nice last tip. She was just, she was great. Um, she always made sure she took care of us and always asked us. She even came the first date in our room to greet us. Yeah, and, like, it was, talk it was to all us. friends. Yeah. Was close to everything. She just we came in, closed the door, talked to us, and made sure she was like, what kind of towels y'all want, this and that organized us like it was it was so great she was on clockwork we knew when she was coming mm -hmm. she asked us when we want to get up and she was like i can come in later she made sure everything was just perfect and the towel animals of course are always fun to watch <laughs> when you walk in you see a hanging monkey and stuff. That was good. so she definitely gets a 10 out of 10 on the flip side of that the room service was it she, when she, every time she ordered room service, that food was cold, cold and hard. Cold and hard. And then I think they have a kitchen on the floor too. Yes. I was like, how's that food like that? It was insane. Like, I give that definitely like a five out of ten. Because the room service could have been better. I'm so used to like them uh, bringing like... Three, that food should have been hot. It was hot probably like how you, well, how they, Look, how they bring cold hard fries? Cold and they had, hard. They didn't even try and re-drop them. No. <laughs> I should have told them that. Put them back in the grease. Because <laughs> it was just so cold and like they took forever. I will be asleep and they'd be knocking on the door and I'd be like, oh, I forgot to order. <laughs> but I mean, the menu is nice. They do have good stuff. It's cheap. I mean, it's not free for room service, by the way. It's you have to pay for it. Yeah, so I didn't do room service every night. The last cruise I definitely did. <laughs> but this cruise I did it. I really didn't eat as much. So I just kind of went to that Italian restaurant and much. But room service definitely get like a three or four out of ten. I'll say a three because it was kind of <laughs> bad. Um, next is the cruise schedule. So we just recently found out like they switched Curacao and Aruba times. 
we wanted that when we went. But this is like for 2021, but still, we was in Curacao to 10. Some days stuff. And there was nothing to do. Yeah, everything at the beach in Curacao closed at like six, like I think six o'clock. Yeah, they had. So like, only thing you really had to do was be at the beach. You had restaurants up top, but they was expensive. Very. Like I think I saw one that was like a shrimp fried rice dinner. It was like almost thirty dollars. <laughs> It would have been a Cayman Islands. Oh, yeah, like, and then and then they had sandals because I wanted some black sandals. <laughs> they were seventy dollars, but it looked like sandals or I get from Rainbow. Black sandals. They look like sandals I can get from Rainbow for like eight dollars. I was. And she wanted seventy. Seventy, and she said it with confidence. I said, "How much is this? Seventy dollars." Huh? I was like, "Bro, you gotta go." Even a beach towel was like. $25, $30. Oh, yeah, it was like, no. I was like, we can just walk around dry off in the air. I know, <laughs> right? I was about to do this. <laughs> like, but the schedule was good. I like Grand Turk. We went to, you know, Margaritaville, the pool. That was fun. Everything was right there. Literally, Margaritaville, the pool. Margaritaville, the pool, and the beach. Right there. Like, oh, you didn't really know. We sure did. We did. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that yesterday. I was like, I, I was so excited to go to the pool party was the pool party was okay yeah I mean we stayed there till about four I would say yeah we didn't stay long Dominican Republic we didn't care how long we stayed we didn't want to stay there there wasn't that many people doing um, excursions there was a lot of people on the ship at Dominican Republic but you know it's because yeah. safety reasons I mean yeah. there's a lot going on and then Man, Curacao. It was it was some stuff to do. The beach was nice. Yeah, the beach was real nice. It was scary with the fish. Yeah, we 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 probably touched some fish. We definitely swam through some fish. Yeah, y'all y'all might not be. There was a random pelican like dropping down into the ocean <laughs> right near us, like getting fish, like eating. We were like, um, trying to show off. I did like how the pool. We had the pool closed at six. Yes, everything, literally everything closed at six. The it pool was, was on the beach and it closed at six. Yeah, and it was a nice pool that like you can literally like walk down and into the a water slope was into so the water. Warm. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> interesting. But that was we stayed there till ten. It wasn't a lot of night activities that Carnival even gave for Curacao. So we didn't even bother to even stay off the ship that long. We went back. We went back at like early. It was not even near dark. We just looked outside the ship to see how it looked at night. But they did it. have a night tour. Some people went on that. Yeah, it was like some brew tour or something. We didn't even bother. We just stayed on the ship and waited to close. <laughs> we ate dinner for free. Yep, I wasn't paying for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Aruba was nice. Yeah, that was our thing. Stay that long and that was weird. We definitely paid for an excursion. It was yeah, worth it. Was it. Really it was worth it. It was very fun. Um, the tour guy was fun. Aruba should have been to 10, 10 o'clock. That's what we're saying, the cruise schedule. If those were switched, they could have gotten 10 out of 10 with the cruise schedule. Yeah. But because it wasn't switched, I was like, eight. Aruba was like, Aruba was I did so, not The water was there. so clear and so pretty. But and I floated nice. back until all time. And we never sand. float, we never <laughs> float that much in the water. We usually just get in and get out. And yeah. just something, they just try to look good in the sun. That's it. Like we we never I don't know, but we got um, the white little kids. <laughs> we had a floaty. We had noodles. We bought noodles for like two dollars. <laughs> it was worth it though. And the food at the beach was good. They had really good fries. Oh yeah, we had. We, we was, that's all we could order. We was trying to hurry up. We could order. But Aruba is so nice. They have like Airbnbs there. I was not even that smoothie. Yeah, I did have a smoothie. It was great. Wow, if we go back, we're going to Smoothie. 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 Next, look. okay, so that's an 8 out of 10. You agree? Yeah. Okay, so next thing, elevators. Boy, let me tell you how annoying the elevators are. Okay, first of all, first night, just don't expect to use an elevator. Yeah, just walk up the stairs. Because they're going to be trying to get everybody's suitcases there. They only have like one elevator working. Yeah, and, and then people are going to be trying to figure out how to work the elevators. This, the elevator we showed y'all in the video, it's like a touch screen. So you have to touch it, you choose your floor, 
and, and everybody in your party has to yeah. choose, choose the floor. So, so if she goes, she got to do it and do the floor. And I got to do it twice. You got to do it twice for both of us. Because it count, it does a head count for the elevator. Yeah. Because they try not to get maximum capacity and think it does better. So they assign you to which elevator. So if we do two, it might assign you to elevator A, B, C, D, whichever one is available. People were just hopping on on anyone, not even doing the button. Not they even trying to figure it out. Not even trying. Out. But you know, I mean, it's a cruise. People on there boozing, like, you know, cruise booze. So they out there just <laughs> drunk. Like, so they're not even paying to, they don't care. Like, thank God was walking around his underwear. Like, yo. He was walking around in uh, his underwear a lot of with his drink and he just hopping on like on anything. He said, I'm just riding. And people I admit it. They'd be like, I'm just riding. I don't know how to work this. So I think they should have better directions about the elevator. Or just take it back to the original. But people not gonna listen. Or even just update it and just make you scan your cruise card. Yeah. So everybody gotta at least do something physical to get on instead of choosing stuff. Like that was too much for people. So I give that about seven. Out of 10 because honestly the elevator did get you where you need to go yeah it was a good system wait or an organized we waited for like 30 minutes for like one so the first day of cruise last day of cruise don't even think about using the elevator just we take had our we had our luggage so like we had big suitcases we're projecting the things that pop, 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 like <laughs> low-key mad <laughs> yes because they were Oh my we, God. We, those people, like, we had press on, but anyway, wait, on the elevator, those people that came after were just jumping on, like, you was... Yeah, yeah, and like that's why I give them a seven out of ten because it was just unorganized for elevators. But that jumps into the embarkation. I give it a four. Yeah. <laughs> I could, I could agree with that honestly because it was terrible. But the I, last thing. I can't thing, blame the carnival, but the people. They it's just the people. It's a, I understand the idea, but the people are just like. They're not there. Like people get on the ship and they're excited. They get drunk within ten minutes of being on the ship, so they don't care. So they're not gonna even care to use elevators. <laughs> but I mean, that's understandable. I mean, y'all having fun, so they're not gonna concentrate on doing something. Yeah, because most of the time we did take the steps, mm -hmm. just not to have to deal with the elevators. That's why I always choose the middle of the ship, mm -hmm. so we're near everything. We don't have to worry. But if we got the elevator, we can take stairs, and not that many flights. So. <laughs> But yeah, so, and also getting um, in like boarding and getting off the ship, that's the last thing. So boarding and boarding was easy. It was very fast, easy. very fast. Getting off. It was a headache. And the people in front of me, they were like, they were so confused. They didn't know where to go. They were making Because you had to scan cruise card. You just, well, getting off, on the sh off the ships to get to the islands was easy. Getting back on, you had to wait. That was, that was terrible. They need to get better with that. It was a long wait. But getting off was easy, you know, to scan and go through the metal detector. But getting back on, people were trying to, oh, we gotta take this off, oh, it didn't, like, just like, you know, your airport doing this, this security check, people weren't cooperating. So it made the line long, because Aruba was the longest. Oh, yeah. That was about an hour and a half with him. <laughs> but getting off the ship to go back home, it was just unorganized. It was, it was too much. It was standing all up in the way. It didn't really give you that many directions either. Like we had to keep asking, like the workers. Yeah, they were. How do we get out of here? We got, we got, we got a flight to catch. Yeah, and then when we finally started like being real on them about we got a flight, that's when they started being serious. Like, okay, go ahead. And they, then they started just letting people off the ship. It was weird. So I give the in boarding. I give the boarding a ten. I give the. Cause last time when we was on Vista, we had to wait up quite a minute. To oh yeah. The ship. But getting off, I give that about a six. Give it a four. Give it a three. It was terrible. Three. So was we had to drag our luggage down. All the elevators were booked. They, I think they shut down the elevators. It was terrible because they were trying to get everybody that was in wheelchairs and needed um, help to the that showroom. Many but there? it wasn't a lot of people that was that needed assistance. They only needed one elevator for that. It was crazy, but. I mean, I understood it, and then again, I didn't. It was just very unorganized. So yeah, I agree. I give that about a three or four out of ten. But getting on the ships, I'll give that about a ten out of ten, yeah. just because Cookie made it fun when we were at the islands to get on, so it wasn't just feel like too long. And getting on the first night, the first day, it was easy. So and then the line, the line was really long trying to get back on the ship from Aruba, but we can't say we kind of were we there like at right at the exact time. We got there like we got in line right before the ship was supposed to leave. Yeah, like everybody did. Like, so nobody was trying to. Leave nobody Aruba. wanted to leave. <laughs> we were. In, I was in there getting gifts and stuff. That's why. I was <laughs> Listen, but overall, Carnival Horizon, I would give y'all an eight out of ten overall. Yeah, vacation was.
It was lit. It was fun. It was the best one so far. Yes, I would advise everybody to try that one. They got their new shit about to sell out. I think it already sold. Yeah, it already Pan sold out? Panor 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 Panorama. Panorama? Yeah. I think Panor that one's the next. Out. And then Mardi Gras. Yeah. Mardi Gras too. So, I think Panorama only goes from California. Yeah. Yeah, Mardi Gras is the one that goes from Miami and Orlando. I think it was just Orlando. I think it's just Orlando. Yeah. But we're going to try to do Mardi Gras. I don't know when. We're going to try to get on the... <laughs> we're going to try to get on the cruise. Because we love it. We love vlogging. If you liked this vlog, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on all social medias at C and Brit. Hopefully you like this video. Stay tuned for more vlogs. Keep following supporting us. We love y'all. Bye. Bye.